I want to start with a sincere congratulations. I thought this, uh, I thought Intergalactic turned out fantastic. Oh, thanks, bro. I'm super excited about it. Um, as well, you absolutely should be. Um, if some, I like throwing a curve at the beginning. Uh, if someone has actually never seen anything that you've done before, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? I would say Blackish. Um, I think that it was, it's, you know, something that changed my life and it's about my family. It gives a lot of context to sort of the types of stories I like to do and kind of like speaking about things in a way that's not necessarily been spoke about before. And, you know, I'm super proud of it. I also like Black AF. I would probably say Black AF. I actually would probably say Black AF. I think so the answer got changed. I, I got it. I got it. Um, I think that was the version I was a little bit more comfortable with myself and it sort of was a little bit more honest look at my family. Okay. Um, one of the things about an animated project like this that has so many different parts is it takes a long time to obviously make. When, how long ago did you start working on this? Years. I think it's almost been three years. And has it gone through because a lot of animated stuff changes dramatically during the making? Was this one mm -hmm. of these things where it always stayed the same or the radical changes? Uh, yes and no. I'm saying, I mean, we knew what we wanted to do. You know, we, wanted, we knew we wanted to, you know, have, it was first time like a, an album would be associated with a project in a, in a very unique way, in a proprietary way. We knew we wanted it to be a, about love and romance and, you know, guy meets girl, guy loses girl, guy gets girl back, because that's often not the stories we get to tell. Um, we knew we wanted to look different in a way that we had never seen before, and I feel like very of the moment, and you know, and and hopefully of many moments past this. Um, I think there was some some different things of whether it was going to be a feature, whether it was going to be a series, and we kind of found the best mesh of the two. I've read a lot where it says it's a series. But I almost consider it a movie. Like, what What exactly, how are you quantifying this? It's a series event. Okay, I think got it's, it. a it's a series event. You know, it's broken up by chapters. And um, I think it actually is a really, really good, um, good, you know, analogy for what it is. Do you think this could be the beginning of others? Like, do you envision this continuing in some way, either using the animation to tell other stories? Like, or do you think this is a, like an isolated thing for you guys? Uh, we would love to do it as a proof of concept for something we would like to do for other artists and, and maybe either continue this story or, you know, do other artists. We think that it's a really interesting way to sort of introduce music along with story and to tell, you know, um, bring the magic of animation together. Animation, la especially when you put music, it lasts forever. Like my kids are still singing Moana and Bambi and all this. Stuff. So the idea of that, because can go on forever. Yeah, one of the other things that I found really cool is you collaborated with Virgil for the costumes. Mm -hmm. And um, can you sort of talk about uh, getting to work with Virgil? And um, because I think the, I think one of the things that's so cool is the way you melded cool costumes, art, fat, like everything. That's a, it's just a cool melting pot. Well, you know, Virgil and Cuddy are really good friends. I'm a huge, you know, Virgil and I knew each other, but I was not a friend like, like Cuddy was. But we knew that we wanted to have in a way that we hadn't seen from an animated show. We wanted, I'm, for me as a producer and filmmaker, I always, everything in that screen, I think I'm responsible for. From what you hear, to what you see, to what people are wearing, to everything. And I think that we wanted to make sure to not lose that because it's animated and to actually ex expand upon that and to get, you know, Virgil Abloh's brilliance in the design aesthetic of this show. And it happens to be, you know, one of the last things that he was able to do. It's, it stands for us as like a, you know, it, it's a, a sentiment and a, you know, something that we feel like is a really special hallmark of what this project is. I definitely have to ask you, I'm so curious about the white man can't jump remake. I I'm, I'm so curious. What, why, why is it, why is it now like the best time to reboot it or what can you tell people about it? Um, I think that, you know, that was a very, very special relationship that started between Woody and, and, and Wesley, right? And I think it was about sort of people from different worlds coming together. And I think right now that's sort of become sort of like a hallmark of the stories I want to tell, you know, um, and it's about, you know, people coming from different worlds who have something that they 
feel like other people don't believe in them, but they believe in themselves. And it, it really is like a, a perfect time. And the soundtrack, Jack Harlow is amazing. Synchro is amazing. And the soundtrack, you know, DJ Drama is doing our, our, uh, our soundtrack for it. And, and it's, we think that that's going to be in the same way that, you know, we're doing above the rim too, but the same way we want to really bring that back. I think music is a motion motion and we want to bring back big music to movies and make you feel like that's a, just as part of much as the movie is as the movie itself. Last question for you. I'm very excited to see you people next year, uh, which I believe you wrote with Jonah Hill. You have Eddie Murphy in it. Uh, what can you tell people about it? What are you excited for people to see? Um, it was my direct feature directorial debut. Um, I was terrified, you know what I'm saying? We spent a lot of money with big stars and, you know, seeing your words that you, you know, wrote, one, one is one thing, but seeing the words that you wrote, directing them is another. Um, and I feel like it really does in the same way, take two different takes. You know, people have said it's this, it's that. It really is talking about two worlds coming together. And the thing that brings them together is love, which I really, not trying to be saccharine, which I really think the world really actually needs more of. Um, I think that people are going to be blown away with Lauren London. Um, you've never seen Eddie Murphy like this. Um, Jonah as a leading man murders it. Julie Louise Dreyfus is, you know, she's a, a surgeon. Um, David Duchovny, who's in it, is is amazing. Um, Nia Long is amazing. We, I think we got like a, just a gold mine of cast. And I think people, I hope people really respond to it um, the way that I have I've been in every iteration of it, really happy with it. Cannot wait to see it. And seriously, congrats on Intergalactic. Thank you for your time. Thank you, bro.